Uh, Calliota is uh, 360 k's east of Broome in the Kimberleys. On the floodplain with the billabongs, we use their, their stock watering points. But not only that, too, where um, there's a lot of uh, native wildlife, all your uh, marsupials, a lot of bird life. Um, you know, it's it's all part of a, a massive ecosystem here on the floodplain, um, which is uh, you know uh, going uh, becoming a very healthy ecosystem. But uh, the bird life and the wildlife really rely on those billabongs. The river we've, uh, uh, I think it's five years ago, fenced off the river um, and pretty well put the fence at the crown of the river, so it's the highest point on your banks. Um, in some places it might be 100 metres off the actual bank, in other places a bit further. But by doing that, we don't let cattle have access to the river itself where they might uh, uh, you know, degrade their, uh, their immediate river bank. And uh, um, the results we're getting by restricting cattle access to the banks is uh, overwhelming. By cattle having access to the banks, of course they pad down the, uh, down the banks to drink in the bottom of the river. They uh, uh, pad along the immediate uh, uh, bank itself as well, which uh, in terms of uh, when your floods come can generate erosion and uh, um, uh, within your river bank. Uh, that stretch we fence to protect is uh, 25 k's long there. You know, apart from a few cattle coming across the river, uh, there's no other stock gets access to it, but there, um, we can see the difference already between the, the, uh, you know, our riverbank and the, the adjacent riverbank. Uh, the birds and the wildlife and the uh, livestock seem to exist pretty well. Like uh, uh, We have a lot of uh, birds nesting on the floodplains during the wet season as well too. Uh, um, but like I say, with not having uh, stock access to those areas, um, your brolgas for instance, your magpie geese, they all nest on the floodplain and uh, um, there's no stock access to those areas uh, during that time of the year. We want to protect the land system so the land system's continually getting better and better and uh, uh, we also want to continue to uh, um, look after animals where we are and continually better our practices. Um, so you know, we, you know, if we continue bettering our practice both in land and livestock management. Mm -hmm.